Uh, Jack, are the fortunes started to turn for the club? Well, it certainly looks that way, Rob, doesn't it? The 2-1 home victory here on Saturday against Hartlepool stretched their run of unbeaten games to nine, and they haven't lost now since Valentine's Day. Of course, it has been a long time since Blackpool were in this sort of form, and in just a minute I'll be speaking exclusively to Chairman Carl Oyston. But first, Chris George has been taking a look back at some of the highs and lows of years gone by. In just over four hours, Manchester United faced Chelsea in the last of the FA Cup quarterfinals with no fit strikers available. Jose Mourinho will be desperate to beat his old club to keep alive hopes of a cup treble. Zaki Mogra is live at Old Trafford with a former United striker. Zaki, it's a massive game for United tonight, isn't it? Up next for Preston, it's a massive game on Saturday. They are away at Fulham, who are also really pushing hard for promotion. Just one point separates the two teams going into that game. But it's not just the game itself that Preston fans have got to look forward to. It's also Gentry Day, which has become an annual away day tradition for Preston fans. It's not only a chance to celebrate simply being a Preston fan, but also um, it's a way of commemorating the past and paying respect to fellow fans who have passed away in recent years and the tradition now has it that people go down and they wear bowler hats and suits so anyone in southwest london on saturday can expect to see many well-dressed northerners thanks very much for that jack well of course it doesn't leave them in a very good position none of the players nor the staff have been paid for january and this is the second time this has happened it also happened back in november um, the club are struggling, they are 17th in League 2, 7 points clear of the drop zone, but they got a very good point on Saturday away at league leaders Doncaster, and there's more chance of points tomorrow night when they are away in London at Leighton Orient, who are struggling even below them in 23rd. How are the preparations going, Jack? Everything is going really well, Anthony. Everyone here is working really hard to ensure that it all gets set on time. In just a minute, I'll be speaking to a former Grand National horse owner. But first, Chris George has been looking ahead to the race and also at its storied history. <laughs> 